During this course, we have covered almost all of human history, but in specific, we have analyzed the history of economics. Economics is a social science that studies the production, consumption, and transfer of wealth in a society. As we know, economics has always been a subject matter for the human beings. During this, this course, in the, in the semester that is just on the way to end, we have seen and gathered information of the history of this science, from the appearance of a simple society to the problems of that population of these years have caused and we have to face in the future. During this video, we will analyze and see the differences and similarities from the past and the future. This, it is said that those who ignore history are doomed to repeat it, and we're just about, about to watch it. Now, are we living a globalization or deglobalization? This topic is very important because there are some periods of time during the history of humanity that are characterized because of their feeling of isolation. During the 18th century, some countries just prefer to make an economic growth based on themselves, like what happened with the Jefferson Embargo. Another example of the situation happened after the Great Depression. The crisis made that the countries started to see just for their recovery. This situation later caused the Second World War. Comparing to the history of the recent times, we can say that our society, what our society is living today with presidents like Trump or Kim Jong-un and other situations like the Brexit is driving us all the way to repeat the past because many countries are isolating again and this could be the start of a new era of crisis and war. Over time, the aging of population has also been a great challenge for people. This has become one of the most important topics in the 21st century because it, it affects pretty much every aspect of the society since it creates more, more necessities for labor, housing, insurance and every, everything that has to do with simply supporting of elderly people. Today, 13% of the population has 60 or more years old and this number will continue growing by a rate of 3% each, each year. Because of this aging population, the dependency rate is increasing. But it is also said by some experts that the, the population will be diminished and some of these, rate, these uh, challenges will be solved by, by the past in the long run. In conclusion, today it is actually a big problem, but in the uh, in long run it can be solved, it is possible. <laughs>